Greetings, my name is Blaze and welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, I talk about thought, theory, and my personal interpretation when it comes to things that I'm interested in. So recently I decided to do a little poll and there was a couple topics I was thinking about talking about. One of them was kind of ranting about how, for whatever reason, people like to put just crappy comments up sometimes. And that got the highest amount of votes, so I figured I would start there. Now, I was debating on which way I wanted to approach this, uh, because, of course, I could just go into ranting about how horrible people are. But instead, I just want to talk about the fact that whenever you have a YouTube channel or any sort of public-facing interaction on the Internet, you're going to have both people who are positive and supportive, as well as individuals that just have nothing better to do than just be jerks. Uh, and maybe I'm misinterpreting the way some of these comments are intended, but yeah. Because sometimes you will get positive feedback. Sometimes you'll get, I don't know, constructive criticism. And, you know, you can take that and do what you want with it. Oh, as an example, some constructive criticism I got from one of my viewers was, if you've got a green screen, use it. Because they want to see me be successful. They like some of my content. And they're like, hey, you know... Why don't you jazz up your channel a little bit? You know, maybe wear a suit and tie, use your green screen if, if you have it up in the background anyway. The green screen is actually for when I stream gaming, so I'm on Twitch as well. And I just have it up in the background. I mean, typically you can see my books and stuff uh, that are sitting behind here. There's like a bookshelf with a whole bunch of books on it. And I will give a library tour at some point after I dust them off because they're getting a little dusty. But because there was the advice and suggestion that I do a green screen, here you go. You ready? That, that's the best green screen I can do. Uh, and, and it's probably not the greatest, so we'll leave that on for a while. But yeah, no, I just have that standing up in the background because at least it's a plain background instead of looking at a whole bunch of stuff just sitting there collecting dust. So again, sometimes I get positive feedback like that, and I actually get a, a lot of really good comments. At the end of the day, and I've mentioned this before, the entire purpose behind my channel is the fact that I'm an individual who has been looking at some of these new age philosophy spiritual movements since i guess the 90s you know and you run across a lot of stuff over the years you know back in the day all we had was like llewellyn publications and stuff and different types of books and you word of mouth as the internet has become more available to folks and information is more readily available for folks to do their own research it's a lot easier to kind of fact check a lot of this repeated and regurgitated information some of which is very inaccurate so I want to share my journey, because I know some of you may be new, and if you're not new, maybe there's some stuff you just never questioned before. With that happening, people are going to have feedback. Sometimes they're going to get mad at you for your opinion or what you're sharing, or they're going to disagree with you. And I highly encourage folks that are watching my videos to comment, to share, to have a conversation. I'm not coming at you like an expert. I don't have a doctorate's degree or anything like that. I'm not a professional. I am just someone who has a passion for studying things that he's interested in and sharing what he finds with others. I like talking about it, conversing. Uh, and, and idealistically, you're being inspired to also do your own research, and maybe you can learn a thing or two. And if there's something I have wrong, let me know. I've actually had folks before call out stuff, and I'll admit, hey, I either didn't know that or I added something to my uh, study list to read up on or check up on, or sometimes I just straight up learn about stuff. So if I have something wrong, let me know, but let's have a pleasant conversation, not be jerks about it. So let's get on to the ranting portion of this video. I delete most of the comments. If you're going to be just a jerk, I'm not going to give you the time of day. I'm just going to delete the comment and move on. But there's a couple of them that are still showing up in my notifications. I'm going to block the name because I'm not trying to attack these people. It, it, again, maybe I'm misinterpreting their comment, but... Some of these, these are some of the ones that have stood out recently to me that I'm just kind of like, okay, was that really called for? So here's the first one. Now, this is interesting because I'm talking about what Scandinavian countries are. One of the things that I do a lot of research around is what people refer to as like the Norse path, right? And some people call it heathenry. I prefer to call it heathenry. It's, it's a modern New Age revival thing. You know, it's a reconstruction. So when you're talking about Scandinavia, for me at least, most of the stuff was written down in Iceland. I've got family there, that's where some of my heritage comes from, so that's the thing I'm mostly interested in. But I want to give some acknowledgement to everything else of Scandinavian as well, and like some of the Germanic traditions and like some of where these stories might have come from. So what I did is I went online and I said, okay, what countries are considered Scandinavian? Obviously Iceland is, 
Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. No question there. But maybe Greenland is. Finland. Those were also listed on a couple sites, so I actually called out Finland. And that was me misspeaking, because apparently Finland is not considered a Scandinavian country. And I've actually had people politely let me know I was wrong. Cool. I gave them my references, gave them my links, like, hey, I saw it here. I misspoke. I can correct that. Not a problem. However, this individual, <laughs> Finland is not part of Scandinavia. It is a Nordic country, but it is not considered Scandinavian. Already can't watch. So, so two things happen here. One, the person's like, reiterating a comment that was already said. I don't expect everybody to read through all the comments and know that conversation already had happened, had happened. Blah, words are hard. But the fact that they're going to be like, I can't watch already. Okay. Which point? You felt the need to tell me you can't watch my video? If you are going to not listen and hear someone out because they say one thing wrong, then don't bother getting on YouTube. Because again, not everybody who gets on YouTube is an expert. People are going to have opinions. Hell, even if you go back to those Llewellyn books that I was mentioning, people will print, in print, in text, at a book you bought, and they'll have misinformation. Accidents, mistakes happen. We're, we're only human. So, of course, I replied to them and said, you know, hey, I actually had a conversation like this before. I'm aware of it. It's nice to point it out. Uh, but this person just replied with it. I was kind of a jerk with it. I was just like, okay. <laughs> and kind of left it at that. But again, it's like... Correct me, fine, but don't be a jerk about it. I don't know. So that one kind of stood out as being kind of a kind of a crappy comment. Uh, this one here is kind of a little bit to the extreme. So this person said, "Just say you're racist. It's fine." Uh, <laughs> I have Danish heritage. Don't care who practiced Norse paganism because it's none of my business what god or gods another chooses to have a relationship with. So instead of making this lengthy video, just admit you're racist. Wow. Okay, so that's like to the extreme. Like, first of all, it's clear this person didn't even watch the video. So they just came on here because they wanted to throw a hissy fit. You know, okay. First and foremost, you're Danish. whoop de freaking do I'm Icelandic. Mother was born in Iceland. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. People can still have their own individual opinions, and you don't necessarily need to agree with them. Uh, in this particular video, I was just basically talking about the fact that there are different types of folks when they speak about what people are calling Norse paganism uh, or heathenry. Like I said, there's, there's many names for it. I've got a video on that too. But talking about some folks have a feel like you can only practice it as part of your heritage and then others that don't. I was explaining the different types of paths and I call out in the comment here too. I specifically say at like 442 in the video, I literally say that I don't agree with the mindset that it has to be part of your own ancestry. Because to me, I think it's great to embrace other cultures as long as you do it respectfully. People get inspired by each other all the time, especially when you're talking about like the Scandinavian practices and traditions. A lot of them during a time period traveled around. You heard of the Vikings, they would travel and trade and share ideas. So I'm just saying that I understand where people are coming from when they say they don't want other people practicing their cultural traditions. I'm not saying I personally believe that. And even if I did, I don't think that makes someone a racist. To me, it's no different than if you're Chinese and you see someone who's not Chinese practicing Chinese cultural traditions. Or, for example, if you are part of one of the indigenous tribes of America, right? You might not necessarily want someone who's not part of your tribe practicing your tribal traditions. Or if you're Hindu, maybe you don't want someone who's not Indian to practice Hinduism. People can have their opinion without being racist to say this is part of our culture. And if you're not part of that culture, being an outsider and trying to do it to them might appear to be like a mockery. So again, using and labeling that term as racist, I think that's a pretty extreme accusation to throw out at someone. Considering if we actually look up what the dictionary definition of racism is, I don't see how that applies. So the definition, according to the Webster's Dictionary, talks about it basically being having the thought of a race being superior in some way, right? Or relating to characteristics of oppression or racial group to social economics. So, so again, just because you're saying that culture traditions belong to a culture, I don't see how that applies here. But that's just my opinion. So the next kind of crappy comment are people just putting up random stuff like stop. N no context of what they're doing, just stop. Stop what? I guess stop making videos because you don't like it? Don't watch it. Move on. 
I made a video specifically on White Sage and my personal thoughts on it, and someone had to comment their opinion, which I'm fine with. You don't have to agree with me. It's just my opinion. I don't think I've ever come across in my videos and told people I'm an expert and my way is the only way. I'm just sharing thoughts. I'm just rambling. But this person felt the need to call me an extremist for my opinion. Uh, again, maybe I'm misinterpreting this, but I think it's pretty straightforward what they're suggesting here. And then with this last comment, I was doing a video where I was basically talking about there are magic schools in real life, and I was comparing that to Hogwarts. Now, I should have realized when I used the term Hogwarts, I would draw on people who are into fiction and fantasy. But I'm talking about basically schools that teach you about real life magic and mysticism versus the fantasy fiction stuff. So this person wanted to make comments about being a headmaster at Hogwarts, and now they work at the Ministry of Magic, which is a reference to the book. So, I mean, some of the last, this is last two being like, I guess, making fun of or poking fun of. I, I feel like they're unnecessary. They might not, they might have just been doing it in good fun and good humor, but it's comes across to me that the idea is to mock the video. And it's like, you know, if you're not in that kind of stuff, that's fine. Move on. I don't know. At the end of the day, I feel like if you want to be a jerk to people, you have every right to be the jerk to people. But at the same time, I have every right to delete your message and ignore you. So that's what I typically do. So that's my little rant. And I'm trying to do it a little bit more passive because I don't really get too bent out of shape. I've, I've had a lot of different comments posted. Like I said, a lot of them tend to be very positive or grateful or have good conversations or be informative. But every so often you just get these comments that I pretty much consider worthless. So I either delete them or ignore them. Some of them I do leave up because they're not too, too bad. And some of them are just completely uncalled for and unnecessary. So I just delete them and move on. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one.